Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ishwari. Before I start, I want to thank each one of y'all for the overwhelming response my previous video got. It really encouraged me and I'm glad I was able to help y'all and I will continue to do so. As students, we face a lot of problems when it comes to memorizing things. I personally would feel really discouraged because I would study a lot on a particular day only to forget more than 50% of it the very next day. So I try to incorporate a new study technique and this has helped me a lot. This tiny change has made a very big difference to the way I studied. In this video, I'm going to share this strategy with you. There are basically two ways to study, active learning and passive learning. When you read a textbook or attend a lecture or are watching a lecture video, you are taking in information for the first time. This is known as passive learning. It is a very important aspect of learning because you have to concentrate and focus to grasp all the information. The second type of learning is a bit more efficient one. This is known as active learning. In this, you will be training your brain to work hard to recollect whatever you've learned before. You can do learn things actively by solving questions, by looking at flashcards or even participating in discussions on particular subjects. This way, you will know if you're on track and you will be able to specifically focus only on those things which you're not able to recall. So my study tip for you guys is spend 40% of your time in learning things passively and spend 60% of your time learning things actively. Try doing this and you will see a big difference just the way that I did. Studying a textbook for 10 hours straight might sound like a lot of work and you feel like, oh my God, I've studied a lot today. But that is not as efficient as doing so for four hours and spending six hours in solving questions and doing flashcards and challenging your brain and quizzing yourself. So I want to add this aspect to my YouTube channel as well. So what I plan to do is have a quiz for you guys. So the quiz is based on my previous video. So if you haven't watched it, please check out the video right here. This is the link to the quiz. By clicking this, you will be able to access it. And there are around five questions. In my next video, I will be explaining why a particular answer is correct and why the other options are wrong. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any videos and give this video a thumbs up if you think you've learned something new.